second. Hi guys, welcome back to 66th part of the Arduino tutorials. In my previous few videos, we have explored the RFID sensor and also did some interesting projects. If you have missed those videos, I leave the link in the description box. In today's video, we'll start with a one more sensor, which is Hall effect sensor. This sensor is used to detect the magnetic field, including the strength and the direction. This has wide range of applications from simple day-to-day -day products like earbud case, tablets, control knobs to advanced industrial and automotive applications like gearbox, position measurement in combustion engines and electric motors. This sensor has a thin layer of semiconductor material. When it is connected to power supply, there will be current flow through this material which produces the charge carriers. When a magnetic material is brought near the sensor, the external magnetic field deflects this charge carriers. So the electrons and holes move towards the opposite sides, which creates a voltage difference. This voltage will be very low. So there will be an amplifier circuit to increase the amplitude of the voltage which can be used as an input to the microcontroller for various applications. For this tutorial, you need Arduino board, Hall effect sensor module, LED bulb, and some jumper wires. Also, a magnet for testing. I purchased all these project components from flyrobo.in. They have very huge collection of components and the prices are also reasonable compared to other platforms. Make sure you explore their products. I leave the link in the description box. Moving on to the connections. The positive and negative terminal of the sensor goes to Arduino 5 volts and ground and the signal pin to digital pin 2. The LED positive goes to Arduino digital pin 11 and the negative to the ground. That's all the connections. You can also get the circuit diagram link in the description box. Moving on to the code, since we are using the digital output of the sensor, the code will be very simple. In the few beginning videos of our Arduino tutorial playlist, we have worked on the digital sensors and I've also explained in detail how to use the digital inputs along with digital read function. So for better understanding, I would request you to watch those videos from the link in the description and then come back here. So in the declaration, I'll declare the sensor connected to digital pin 2 and LED pin connected on 11. In the setup function, we'll set the pin mode of the sensor as input and the pin mode of LED as output. In the loop, I'll use digital read function to continuously read the data coming from the sensor pin. And I'll store this data to a variable. So using this data, we can control the LED. By default, the sensor will be giving one as output. So when there is magnetic field near the sensor, the output changes to zero. In order to see this behavior, I'll print the same on the serial monitor using serial.print line. We have to also initialize 
the serial communication in the setup function. I'll upload this code now. So by default, I'm getting one from the sensor. So if I take the magnet near, it's turning to zero. So this is how it detects the presence of magnetic field nearby. So for our project, we have to turn on the LED when there is magnetic field. So using if statement, I can directly check if the sensor value is zero. Then using digital write function, I'll activate the LED pin. So else case, we have to switch off the LED. So I'll make it as low. So I'll upload this code again and we'll see the results. So if I take the magnet near to the sensor, LED turns on. If I take away, LED will stay in the off condition. So the sensor is able to detect one side of the magnet, which is most commonly the south pole. And for other side, it doesn't react. So that's all the basics of Hall effect sensor and interfacing with Arduino. I hope this video was interesting. In my next video, we'll use the same sensor and make a contactless RPM measurement device. So stay tuned and also make sure you subscribe to our channel for more interesting projects. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in the next video.